Bonjour. So this is part two of a series that I am recording about using direct object pronouns in French. So in the first part, in case you didn't see it, I put a little link up there. In the first part, I talked about the pronouns le, la, and les. So the thing is, in French, you have some other pronouns that are used as direct object pronouns, but they sort of look exactly like reflexive pronouns and indirect object pronouns. If that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry, because I'm planning on making some videos about those as well. But these pronouns are me, te, nous, and vous. Okay, so don't worry if you say, now wait a minute, I studied reflexive verbs and I know that those are reflexive pronouns. You're right, they are. But just keep in mind, sometimes they're also used as direct object pronouns. When, for example. Okay, so if you want to say something like, um, he's looking at me. Who is he looking at? Me. Well, in that case, you need the direct object pronoun, me, to replace me. So, you know, in French, you can't say, il regarde moi. That would be way too easy. But that's what a lot of my students want to do, and that's what I wanted to do when I started learning French. But no, 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 you can't do that. Just like you can't say, il regarde toi. Mm. Il regarde nous. No. Il regarde vous. Mm. Sorry. That would be awesome if we could. But, you know what? When you're tempted to say, il regarde moi, replace the moi with me, M-E. And when you're tempted to say, il regarde toi, replace the toi with te, T-E. When you want to say, il regarde nous, that's good, because nous is a pronoun, you don't have to change it. And when you want to say, il regarde vous, in your English brain, Keep the vous, that's also a pronoun. And just like I talked about in part one, do you remember I told you that when you're thinking, when you know the right pronoun to use, so he's looking at me, I know I need to use me. All you need to know now is where do I put it in the sentence? Just like I said in the last video, in part one, the placement of pronouns, no matter what kind of pronoun they are, it doesn't matter, the placement is always going to be the same. So do you remember where you need to put the direct object pronoun in a sentence? Rather than saying, il regarde moi, you're going to say, il me regarde. Il te regarde. He's looking at you. Il nous regarde. He's looking at us. Il vous regarde. He's looking at you. See? It works like that. So remember, if you want to use negation, instead of saying il me regarde, we're going to say il ne me regarde pas. Il ne me regarde pas. So the pas, the ne and the pas have to go all the way around the pronoun and the verb that it comes directly before. Remember, you cannot separate a pronoun from the verb that it's directly attached to in French. You just have to, if you remember that, then it'll make things easier for you when you start using negation and whatnot. Okay, so, il ne me regarde pas, il ne te regarde pas, il ne nous regarde pas, he doesn't look at us, or he's not looking at us, il ne vous regarde pas, he's not looking at you. So, relax. All right, uh, what else do I need to tell you? Just a reminder, when you have more than one verb in the sentence, your second verb is going to be an infinitive, and that's the non-conjugated form of the verb. So if you want to say something like, he wants to look at me, sounds creepy, I don't know why I used this example, but anyway, he wants to look at me, il veut, that's the verb vouloir, to want, il veut me Regarder. So the regarder is still in the infinitive form and the pronoun comes right before it. If I want to say he doesn't want to look at me, il ne veut pas me regarder. He doesn't want to look at me. I hope it makes sense to you. So just to recap the different kinds of direct object pronouns in French, you have 
me, te, nous, and vous, and you also have le, la, and les. So if we're to put them in order, we would have me, which means me, te, which means you, and that's the singular informal form of you. Now, what about him or her? That's going to be le or la, and it can also be it, because remember, every it in French has a gender, since nouns have genders. So if your it is a masculine it, then it's going to be le. If your it is a feminine it, it's going to be la. We, nous. You, which is plural you or formal you, is vous. And them is les, L-E-S. And it doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine because les is always les. Uh, plural is always les. Voilà. So I hope that helped you. And again, as I said in part one, if you want to see this lesson written down with some real clear examples, just come over to my blog. And that's Learn French with jennifer.com and also just a reminder to let you guys know that I do give French lessons on Skype and so it doesn't matter where you live in the world you can visit learnenglishandfrench.com and you can check out the different kinds of packages that I have you know that I'm offering I'm just me so if you want to schedule some lessons you can send me a message uh, you can send it through the contact form on the website and I'll be happy to get back to you ASAP and voila so that's it have a great day everyone I hope this lesson helped you bye bye